and on Singapore, stay in Singapore more than 35 years. So we want to be here much, much longer to support the society and develop the economy. To do that, we should be the good corporate citizen, and that is one of the important and biggest reason to focus sustainability. Climate-related risks are as real as any other risk, and they want to know your exposures so that they can decide whether to lend to you, to invest in you, or to insure you. It's not just about the investors, but it's equally about the customers. And if you think back to the haze last year, the reaction actually was primarily from the customers who reacted very strongly. And when you had products that were possibly linked to the haze, you could see them being pulled off the shelves very quickly. Talking about sustainability, a lot of people think this is just an eco-friendly kind of things. But in today's breakfast meeting, I learned a lot about more than that, more you know, the operational and financial sustainability. I think it's very important that all organisations should actually uh, embrace uh, sustainability reporting so that at the end of the day, we can actually integrate you know, things like people, profit as well as the planet so that ready to protect the next generation. This year's Think Big Convention is very timely because we faced global economic uncertainties and a slowdown in major markets. These factors have a real impact on our business. So what is the new normal? How do we restructure and respond to a future economy? These are key questions we have on our minds. Remember at the beginning, at least the first so over six weeks uh, of the year, you know, market was tanking, there's that fear that the next recession is around the corner. Fast forward, you know, last week's market, the recession, what recession? You know, so it's how quickly, you know, the mood of the market has changed. But I suppose what hasn't changed really is the macro fundamentals itself, be it six weeks ago, be it today, hasn't really changed very much. The environment is still of slower growth. Canon as a technology leader has, has continued to evolve and, uh, and innovate. Today we launch a new product, the Image Runner Advance uh, Gen 3. Uh, it has got very unique features for the user experience where it looks and feels like the way you operate an iPhone, an iPad and a tablet. On the security area, we allow documents to be overwrite and erased immediately after it's been printed, uh, therefore enhancing security. I operate a venture capital fund and we invest in uh, startups, mobile commerce company, internet related company. So for them, uh, who are operating in Singapore, the notion of thinking big uh, globally and how their technology could uh, actually impact uh, the world at large and to bring innovative businesses to a next level is very important. I think in this current industry where it's very competitive, right, especially for this year 2016, so I think it's important for companies to look at different ways to innovate and then to see how to remain competitive in this landscape. Attracting new companies coming in uh, with different uh, business models also helps spur uh, competition and spur examples of what can be uh, successful models also to, for some of our local companies to, to, to grow and follow. I guess it's not just small companies that need to innovate on their business models, even some big companies need to do that. That's right. I mean, we, we talk about Canon, for example, certainly. Yeah, they've you know, done it. Yeah. I mean, they, they've done it. I mean, we're talking about a pitch to be a business solution uh, provider, not just a hardware provider. In the game of logistics and supply chain, we are also talking about moving pieces, move, moving resources from point A to point B, deploying our, our troops, our human, our capacity to meet uh, future challenges. So the same principle can rightfully be applied to control any logistical or supply chain systems. The world of digital allows for demand and supply to find each other in the most optimum place. The consumer is driving us to respond in a much different way. And I think that's the context from which we're trying to build the response regarding demand, 
and how we will deliver supply more efficiently. I think in the logistics industry, documentation is a very uh, critical portion. So with technology, we can reduce some of these operational mistakes. That's where productivity level can be improved. Canon Fleet Next G, one of the key advantage is the good platform that it is using, which is a very robust platform used by many companies. With this platform, we are able to grow into the region very, very fast. And uh, this platform also enables us to do some customization when they are outside Singapore. 